Hello there, my name is Ismaz. Welcome to Top Channel 101. So this is going to be a quick tutorial, maybe under three or two minutes. Uh, so we are going to create a golf ball uh, in Blender. So yeah, let's delete this cube and uh, add an icosphere. So let me first center this and then add mesh, icosphere. Uh, so uh, every vertex you see here is going to be uh, is going to be one of those uh, impressions you see those uh, round impressions you see in a golf ball maybe the first let's first get a reference here it's going to be one of those uh indents or impressions you see in a golf ball uh, so you can see we don't have a lot of what it says here uh, so let's add more subdivisions and uh, maybe four yeah so let's go to edit mode and uh, so what we're going to do is bevel every vertex you see uh, so let's do Control shift b to do that you can see it does that pretty well uh, if you do ctrl b it just uh bevels uh, the edges uh that's not what we want what we want is to bevel uh, the vertex so use ctrl shift b uh, to bevel the vertex and uh, about there after i confirm i uh, don't don't switch to object mode make sure you stay in edit mode and uh, go to a face selection because we want to have those faces selected uh, if you go to uh, object mode uh, you will lose that selection so let me show you if i go to object mode now and i go back to edit mode oh it seems to work right now it wasn't working uh last time so yeah make sure you have that selection as is and then we can uh, uh what is it called you can in extrude you can insert uh, these faces so if you if you press i you can insert that and now we can scale that in so we have something that looks like that and now if we add a subdivision surface a subdivision modifier we get our golf ball so if we can even add some smooth shading yeah, but uh, i think there is a lot of gaps between uh, each of uh, these holes so we can go back in and uh, scale this just a bit uh, if you hold down control and then plus you can increase the selection and uh, we can scale this yeah so we have our golf ball something like that and uh, let's see yes uh, so i think the spaces here are a bit uh too much so we can go back and do ctrl z ctrl z ctrl z until we have our bevel so let's bevel again but this time let's make sure that uh, uh the circles are a bit bigger now let's go to face mode and uh, we can insert this again Yeah, so that's what we have. Let me, let's try something else here and let's see how it would work. So if we select everything and uh, let's say insert, okay, now let's say insert faces, no? Individual, extrude in videos. Alt S. by individuals I'm trying to I'm trying to experiment here to see if there is a different way to, to do this I'll explain after yeah I think this is actually better than what we had before because if you look at the reference image you see that uh, those pentagons really come out uh, more than uh, what we had before so let's go back let's redo the procedure and uh, i show you how what i did here so uh, in the first part we used an icosphere uh, with four subdivisions and uh, what we did we went to vertex mode uh, then added a bevel for every vertex and then i uh, went and went to first selection uh, inserted that and uh, scaled in and we got something like this so i'll put that there let's add small thing but you see the gaps between each uh, impression 
is a bit wide uh, compared to what we see in the example here. And I uh, see they are more like circles instead of pentagons or whatever six-sided figures are called. Uh, so let's add an icosphere. Uh, so in the, the the other way to do it, uh, maybe is uh, to uh, again go to vertex mode, bevel that, bevel all vertexes, all vertices, and uh, after you do that, uh, select select everything, and then extrude faces, extrude in videos. Uh, make sure you are in face select mode, then extrude in videos, but uh, don't scale anything. Just uh, right click uh, to to not to confirm to confirm to unconfirm the scaling. Uh, but you see now every face is on top of uh, the faces before, uh, so we can scale these faces individually by by changing the pivot point uh, to individual or origins. And then now if we scale, we get that. So let's add the subdivisions. You can start, you, you even start seeing uh, those pentagons already. Uh, so if we scale this inside, oh, we can even add another extrusion. Or uh, maybe we can insert. You can see the computer is slowing down a bit because of the amount of vertices we're using. Now we can scale this. Let's first turn off subdivisions. We can scale this. Uh, to the median point Maybe even scale this each face uh, By individual origins Now let's add That And now uh, we have that so if you want to Those impressions look a bit too much so we can uh, that to around that and uh, add uh, the bevel and you see we have that let's first remove uh, the other extrusion we had so maybe scale it from there and you can see now this I think this is better than uh, this because you see the pentagons a little bit better than uh, here. Yeah, so that's that was a tutorial on how to uh, make golf balls in Blender. Uh, two different ways to make golf balls in Blender. Yeah, thank you.